Hey, good morning, guys. I'm out here with my little granddaughter, August. Say hi, if you want. Hi. <laughs> We're out here enjoying the garden. And uh, <laughs> this is the second video I've tried to make. <laughs> we was out there doing it. I showed you all the, all my garden. Man, we went through it. Went through it big. And uh, I went to push the button to, re to get the picture shown from, the, from them back to me. For whatever reason, and I lost it. I, it went away, but <laughs> it's all right. It's all working out because August and I are out here, and uh, I'm going to check this thing out. But I'm going to flip this around. I won't bring it back because I'll mess it up. I'll leave it out there. To I'll leave it out there. See how's this look, August? See that? That's where it's. Uh, yeah. So I won't touch that button again. <laughs> <laughs> And I want to go out here and show you some, uh, some of the things that, that we're growing. Uh, these are cherry tomatoes that we've been picking. Now look what August found. She was out here and picking some zucchini. Uh, there's a bunch out there. And we give them to our neighbors because we've got more than we can handle. That, those things there will just, they just keep going. So um, it's amazing. So anyway, our cherry tomatoes here, I've come through and, and cleaned some of the uh, leaves out of them so we get the airflow through them. It keeps the mold and mildew out of it and, and uh, stuff. i still got a limb down there at the bottom of that one to, on the other side to trim up. But we got tomatoes growing. These things are six foot tall here, these little cherries. Uh, and those, there's, there's a bunch in there. I mean, I didn't stop to look, but yeah they're they're growing up so they'll have a bunch in there when we get them <laughs> when we start making tomatoes we'll have a lot of them and we'll make a lot of cannings we'll we'll put them in jars and and get them up but let's go back over here and show you these yeah these are uh tomatillos or something like i don't know how to pronounce them and i've never never grown any of these and inside of them is looks like a little green tomato growing but when they're ripe done i guess the the husk will turn brown on it and but we got a lot of them in there i don't know how what they are but we're gonna try them <laughs> and these this is our these are our two feet apart so that's four feet just about four foot tall right there on these things but they sure put it out and we do have some beans growing over here. These beans are just, oh, they're packed. August is picking. But when you get down under these, you know, you all grew up in the country that knew how to snap beans. You know, you pick them and you pull, you pop the head and tail off of them and then you snap them up. Man, they make a, that's a chore, but it's good. And our cabbage, uh, this one here is, these are getting bigger. We got one there. Those probably weigh about, five or six pounds now but, but some of them ain't making the worms that got into them yep the beans are getting too big i gotta get out here and pick them what but happens if they get really really big they turn to seed and then we can grow them save the seeds for next year and uh, so over here we've got squash i don't remember the name of this squash i don't remember the name of that squash i don't remember hmm but then on the end, we got cucumbers growing over here on this side. And back on the back side of it, we have carrots coming up, which those will be, they'll, they don't do much in the summer, but in the winter or the fall, they start really growing. And uh, then we can curve them, in the, curve them in the, with the straw and they'll keep in the ground if you want. And you can come out and dig through them and get you some fresh carrots. They're sweet when you do them that way. We have beets, row of beets, two rows, and then we got okra growing in there. It's coming up finally. But that's our little garden that we're working on. And uh, that's that's pretty neat. We got a church behind us that, that uh, we wave at the people that comes in out of that. And the neighbors over here at this side, they get to share in the bounty of what God gives us to share. Because we sure have more here than we'll ever use. <laughs> That's for sure. That is for sure. But 
I thought I'd come out here and share some things that really, uh, in Paul's letters, that really get me excited. What have you got there? That handful of beans she's got. <laughs> yep, sit there and eat those things. Anyway, you know, I was thinking about our expectation and what we got in it and uh, the, the expectation, which is Christ. He's our expectation. And, and realizing that God is one that works in us for His delight. We are His achievements. You know, it tells us in Ephesians that we are His achievements. And none of it is of herself. <laughs> so, you know, that takes any, any stress of trying to do anything for God. You know, we don't do anything for Him, for salvation. We do nothing. He gave it to us a gift. It says, <clears throat> says over here in Ephesians, if this will focus in, I don't know if it will or not. It says, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who blesses us with every spiritual blessing among the celestials in Christ. Our Father, God the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, he blesses us with every spiritual blessing and it says according as he chooses us in him he, he chooses us we don't go and, and and seek him we can't ask him into our hearts we can't do we can't even uh, we can't even pursue him it says no one is seeking God in scripture <laughs> that's on the left hand side somewhere but but you see he chooses us in Him before the disruption of the world. <laughs> we had no choice in being chosen. It was all God that done it. He done it. For uh, before the direction for we to be holy and flawless in His sight. Doesn't say in our sight. It's in His sight. <laughs> We're holy and flawless in God's sight. In love. Designating us beforehand for the place of His Son for Him through Christ Jesus it's all in the core of the delight of his will man there's so much in that to see you know to think about man it's neat to see that well you know over here on this side Paul says look at that it says that the God of our Father the God of our Lord Jesus Christ the Father of glory may be giving you a spirit of wisdom and revelation in the realization of him that's him it's all him it's all God he does the work he works in us the eyes of your heart having been enlightened <laughs> for you to perceive for you to understand to see it what is the expectation of his calling and what the riches of the glory of the allotment of the enjoyment of his allotment is among the saints and what the transcendent greatness of his power for us who are believing the word power is the ability to achieve right for his power for us who are believing in accord with the operation of the might of his strength which is operative in the Christ <laughs> wow you know there <laughs> you flip the page and there's always something you flip the page right there's so much in here to see uh, he's give us an administration uh, oh well look over here on over here in Ephesians it says on this behalf I Paul the prisoner of Christ Jesus for you the nations since you surely hear of the administration of the grace of God that is given to me for you whose gift to Paul is for us for you for by revelation the secret is made known to me it was a revelation given to him <laughs> what did you find Found the first oh, you found a roly-poly? Those things are pretty cool to watch. Pretty neat. Yeah, but how do I look at my leg? The but, the ivy. <clears throat> yeah, if she gets into poison ivy. <laughs> <laughs> but see, we got so much to share with others. And to for even for our kids, our grandchildren to understand that our celestial realm, we're not, we're not here for this earth. You know, we have our, our realm is inherent in the heavens. Uh, let me see if I can, I don't know where that's at. It's on the right hand side. I'll flip through here and find it. Because, where does it say that? Right here. It says, For our realm is inherent in the heavens, out of which we are awaiting a Savior also, <laughs> the Lord Jesus Christ, who will transfigure the body of our humiliation. 
transfigure it. He will transfigure our body of humiliation to conform it to the body of His glory. Wow! In accord with the operation which enables Him even to subject all to Himself. Man, how much, <laughs> how much fun that is to realize that, you know, the things that we have been given. Man, that's why he tells us to be rejoicing and all, always be rejoicing and in everything. And when we stumble around the stuff and in our fleshly desires and we get caught up in things, we lose the peace that's given to us. You know, we lose that peace when we're focused on this because the freedom we have, the peace we have is in the Spirit. That Christ is in Christ's Spirit. That's where we have the freedom to enjoy life. And when we understand that, Man, what a blessing it is, you know, to see that. So, yeah, it's just neat to, to see. And so much here to share with our grandkids. So we need to take the time to do that. And, and let those around you know how much you love them. And tell them every day, you know, that you love them. And, and mean it. Because they're here for a reason. Everyone in our lives are placed in there for a purpose. And it's so neat to see. So. Oh, I think this grew a little too much. Oh, that's a, a white clover. Yeah, the why honeybees the, love them. Why is the bottom of it? Because they're long-legged. They're in the grass. I don't mow it just so the bees can eat. I give the bee stuff to eat. Until it gets too high. <laughs> We're the steward of the land. <laughs> well, anyway. I got uh, all this verse here in Colossians. It's come to, up here. And uh, it says, Now put on as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, pitiful compassions and kindness and humility, meekness and patience, bearing with one another and dealing graciously among yourselves. Now over in verse 14 it says, Now over all of these, because it gives you a list of over all of these, put on love which is the tie of maturity. We become mature in love. That's where everything is held together. All has those cohesions in Him. The cohesion is love. That's what ties it all together. <laughs> it's all love. And let the peace of Christ be arbitrating in your hearts, for which you were called also in one body, and become thankful. And let the Word of Christ be making its home in you richly, in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing yourselves, in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to God. And everything, whatsoever you may be doing, in word or in act, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, giving thanks to the God, to God the Father through Him. There's so much to see. And I just encourage you all to get into the Scriptures and see it and, and read them. Read them out loud. There's so much to see when we focus on that and uh, focus on things above, right? And not on the earthly stuff. I love you guys. I hope you have an awesome day. And we'll get it on here someday and, and do some more videos. But I want to be an encouraging today to encourage you to just rejoice in where we're at. So there's a something big happening. God has a massive plan going. And we are a part of that. <laughs> I'll talk to y'all later. I love you guys. Let's go see what God's got for us today. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.